Let's go to Steve Weich now. Uh, Steve, you just heard the, the claim there that Dez wants to go up against this team, have, have an opportunity for revenge games. What are you hearing in terms of interest for Dez Bryant? Well, first off, Patrick, within minutes, and I mean probably less than two minutes, um, I heard back from three NFL personnel guys who said the market, the free agent market, is going to be incredibly aggressive for Des Bryant. The Cowboys may not think he fits what they want to do, but there are an abundance of NFL teams who would love to get Des Bryant on their team at the right price. Money, money could be the deal breaker. Des is trying to make the type of money he was scheduled to make in Dallas. That could be a roadblock. But, again, I mean, it was so fast. And these, these are people, one within the division, um, who made it sound like there's going to be a very aggressive market for Des Bryant. Now, you look at the history of a team like Washington. This, this seems like a move that they would probably love to make. They've just got Alex Smith there to get him a big type of red zone receiver. We know Alex Smith is very good. In the red zone, this is going to be a team, I think, that's going to be immediately connected to the situation. I have not heard specifics that Washington is a team um, that's going to go after him. However, this seems like something, a Daniel Snyder-type move, if they do pursue Des Bryant. Um, again, I'm with Ian, with Ian just reported. I have heard that this was not necessarily a financial thing. This is something where they just felt it was time to move on from Des on the field, off the field, clear the deck. Huge void now for Dallas. We can sit here and say all we want about him not being able to win one-on-one -on -one matchups X, Y, and Z. They now have to fill their top wide receiver spot. There are not a ton of number one free agent wide receivers available, and this is not a necessarily a strong draft for a number one wide receiver. So this is something Dallas has to look at and to figure out who's going to be you know, its main target for, for Dak Prescott. But, again, to get back to Des Bryant, he may not be unemployed by the time the draft gets here. It sounds like there's going to be a bidding war. That's not necessarily for money, but for the services of Des Bryant. And, Steve, you mentioned his production, 11 touchdowns per season from 2012 to 2015. And then we talk about the dip in production. Just It still was seven touchdowns every year between 2016 and 2017. So what do you think that final number is? The, the Cowboys electing not to pay him that $12.5 million. Do you think he could – get back in that range with, with a potential bidding war? I, I think he could in terms of structure, maybe not necessarily an annual average, but uh, in terms of structure, in terms of need. Uh, it's, uh, I know Dez supposedly, uh, or, or the report that uh, was it Mickey Spagnola, I guess, that Ian just said that Dez said he'll see you twice a season. But if you're a team like the Green Bay Packers, um, you just lose Jordy Nelson. You've got a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers. You know, you put Des with the right quarterback in the right system, that type of West Coast system up there, he could be highly productive. They can incentivize him to make that money back, and and, and that's you know that's another way. Um, I don't think teams necessarily are going to get crazy because we see the wide receiver market financially has just gone through the roof. You know, looking at the contract with Jarvis Landry, just got things like that. I don't think Des is going to get paid as a young wide receiver necessarily entering a second type of contract, um, but. But the numbers with incentives and things like that could could absolutely, um, you know, get Des up there necessarily when he was scheduled uh, to earn the season in Dallas. Steve, before we go, you said before the draft. Do you think this could happen at some point next week? Based on the calls I got, it's the, I mean, immediately after the news came out, it sounds like this is this could happen pretty quickly unless Des is holding out for significant money.